I'd like to ask the Minister for the Department for Environment, Food and Agriculture what fears applied for retrospective planning. Call the Minister for Environment, Food and Agriculture. Thank you, Mr. President. With all due respect, I am unclear why this is an appropriate question. The information is readily available on my department's website and is a matter of public record. For completeness, however, I can clarify at the current time the fee for an application for planning approval is the same irrespective of whether the development has yet to start, has started, is being amended or is complete. Supplementary, Ms. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, would the Minister not agree, therefore, then, that the retrospective planning system is flawed, um, as currently a law-abiding citizen can suffer financial consequences of complying with the law, but anyone applying for retrospective planning currently pay the basic one-off fee? The fee does, does he not agree with me that the fee for retrospective planning should be a deterrent to make sure they follow regulations and policy? Minister? Well, with all due respect, Mr. President, I think uh, the Honourable Member has asked the wrong question. Uh, I answered the question about fees. However, I, I will stray uh, if uh, uh, she wash, wishes me to. Um, she's mixing enforcement uh, with uh, recovery of planning fees. Um, we don't use uh, planning application fees as a form of penalty or enforcement. Uh, consequently, if we um, break the law, as it were, planning law. Uh, we have enforcement <coughs> procedures which do carry penalties. There are various reasons why people might want to make or need to make a retrospective planning application. They may amend an application during the building process. They may buy a property and find that something they thought confirmed, uh, conformed didn't. Uh, they may have been given wrong advice. We don't necessarily want to penalise them for that. And we have discuss this at department level um, and believe that the present system is where it sits. Uh, certificates of lawfulness uh, do attract an extra fee and that uh, can put uh, breaches uh, right without a, a formal enforcement procedure. Final Sage. Thank you Mr President. Um, I, I just feel that if the Minister could clarify this for me that there's a bit of an unfair system going on here because if I applied for planning and then an officer tells me they want an amendment to it, I again have to pay an additional fee. But what you've actually just said is that for a retrospective planning, that they might not have been aware of it. Well, you know, that's, that's between the, that's the individual might not be aware. But, but there seems to be an unfairness in the system that somebody who's law-abiding is paying a far greater fee than somebody who's chosen to carry on. I'm not saying everybody, and there could be errors within the system, but it is getting treated differently. And I'd like the Minister to just comment on that, because he's the one that's bringing forward um, additional fees for people having to put amendments into plans. Yet he's not... It seems like on the other side that that's not the case. You could just do anything you like, come with a retrospective planning fee and play the fat, flat, flat fee and get approval. Here, here. Minister? Uh, I am confused here. Um, the idea of planning fees is to recover the cost of the planning process. Uh, enforcement um, action, um, whether it's through uh, getting people to seek certificates of lawfulness or taking direct enforcement action is a, a, a procedure which will attract a penalty. Uh, there are many, many reasons why retrospective and amended planning applications are made. And uh, we had lengthy discussions in the department and we didn't feel that it was right to penalise the majority who make a retrospective planning application for the miscreant behaviour of a very small minority that are often caught up in the enforcement proceedings anyway. Final supplementary, Mr Hooper. Thank you, Mr President. I wonder if the Minister, you said they've discussed this at department level. <coughs> Has the Minister considered then that perhaps there is an issue with the policy of treating enforcement in one way and retrospective planning in another, mm -hmm. given that their enforcement division seems to be massively under-resourced, mm -hmm. in some cases taking up to nine months to even respond to individual complaints? Yeah, 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 yeah. Would it not be better to be trying to discourage people from needing retrospective planning applications by looking at the way the fees are charged and the fee structure to try and relieve some of the pressure on his enforcement division? Yeah. Minister. Uh, 
The Honourable Member is indeed correct. Uh, there is uh, a backlog enforcement proceedings obviously due to a lack of resource, and that's why uh, certificates of lawfulness and retrospective planning applications uh, are a useful tool to bring people into conformity and without penalisation. Um, we constantly review uh, the way we charge planning fees and uh, how we apply them and the policies that underlie this. Uh, at present, the policy is not to charge anything extra for a retrospective planning application, but I'm sure in due course we will revisit that in view of the uh, enforcement uh, backlog, etc.